Hey guys, welcome out to Nerd Strategy. And I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I want to talk to you about the games that I've been playing recently. So, to start things off recently, I've been playing Star Ocean The Divine Force. And this game is tons of fun. Like all Star Ocean games mostly, you land on a shipwrecked planet and you work your way to getting back into your ship and you explore around from there. But I haven't really done too much in this. I've been mainly going through the story, which is really engaging, and the combat is tons of fun. And I also really like the way this game looks, and the music just it grips you into playing. Now I don't want to go over too much more details into it because I probably will do a review of this game later on in the future. That could be said about all these games I'm showing in this little thing. Another game I've been playing a lot recently has been Pokemon Scarlet. And I've been having tons of fun playing this. Yes, there are glitches. And it feels like the Switch system may be overpowered, but I honestly think it's coding issues in the game that they need to fix. And hopefully, because there's supposed to be an update for it sometime in February, and it's January when I'm recording this video, that actually fix a lot of the bugs. But this game is really addicting. And I've never completed a Pokedex this fast before in a Pokemon game. Like, from right up from the start, there is tons and tons of a variety of creatures for you to capture and collect and train. And honestly, my favorite thing to do right now is the raids. I haven't gotten so much into the competitive part of it. I want to try a little bit of that out. But right now, I am having a lot of fun with the raids because some of them, like the 7 star raids, are just ridiculously difficult. And another game I played recently was The Legacy of Goku 2. Yeah, I know, it's a Dragon Ball game. But I like going back to this because this is one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games. And not all Dragon Ball games are bad. They get a lot of rep for them for being tediously long and repetitive. This is one of those games that they made that really fixed a lot of the issues that the first one had. And it made it really playable. And in my opinion, it kind of stands along one of the top RPGs for the system. And also on par with some of the Super Nintendo games that were released that are considered greats now. I just wanted to try out my new look with the new screen, the new desk setup, and just record something quick for you guys to let you guys know of the games I started playing. If you guys like this, maybe I'll do one every every so often so then you get a glimpse of what reviews and stuff I'll have coming in the future. 